Hi classmates, thanks for tuning in. Today we will be discussing some aspects of symbolic interactionism theory. Symbolic interactionism falls under the interpretive paradigm, so it's based on one's own reality rather than on facts. This theory explains social behavior in terms of how individuals interact with one another through symbols. Symbolic interactionism dates back to the 1900s and combines the efforts of many researchers, four of which are included here. Today we will be focusing on the ideas of George Mead, who is probably the most recognized of all those who have influenced this theory, as well as Hubert or Herbert Bloomer, a student of Mead's, who actually coined the term symbolic interactionism. George Mead was a social psychologist at the University of Chicago. His primary contributions focused on the self. Mead believed that we learn about ourselves through interaction with others that are based on gestures. A gesture can be thought of as any action that causes a response or reaction in another person. Ultimately, it is in our interactions with others, including the anticipation of how others will respond to our gestures, that we fully develop a sense of self. Now, Mead did not believe the concept of self to be a thing, but rather a process based on constant movements between the I and the me. In his idea, the I represents the impulsive, spontaneous, unpredictable part of the self, where actions are driven by emotion and not much thought, and the me represents the thinking part of the self, where actions are driven by what is socially acceptable and thought through. Before we go into Bloomer's contributions, let's watch this clip wherein you'll notice the concept of self coming to life among other aspects of symbolic interactionism, which we'll talk about next. As you're watching, consider how the interpretation of the big salad varies among characters. Right, take a shot. Hey, All right, now. <laughs> Thank you. I got it. Oh, no, no, no. I'd like to pay for lunch. Oh, not Julie, Julie. Don't insult you know, what difference does it make who pays for lunch? It's totally meaningless. Okay, thanks, George. Here's your big salad to go. Oh, thank you. Hey. 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 Sorry, we're late. Oh, it's no problem. Here's your big salad. Thank you, Julie. Oh, you're very welcome. So, well, I guess I better get going. Catch me, Mother's Guggenheim. You sure you don't want to go? No, you Guggenheim. I'm not much of a Guggenheimer. Are you sure, George? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you go. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right. Take Bye -bye. care. <laughs> Did you see what just happened to Well, that all depends. Did you happen to notice that Julie handed the big salad to Elaine? Yeah, so? Well, she didn't buy the big salad. I bought the big salad. <laughs> Is that a fact? Yes, it is. She just took credit for my salad. <laughs> That's not right. No, it isn't. I mean, I'm the one that bought it. Yes, you did. Don't you think she should have said something? She could have. Oh, I know. Imagine her taking credit for your big salad. <laughs> you know, you buy a big salad for somebody, it would be nice if they knew it. Obvious. I like Julie. She's very personable. Yeah, she's lovely. That's great, Julie. Yeah. <laughs> So, did you enjoy your lunch? <laughs> yeah, the big salad. It was very good. Actually, it was too big. <laughs> Why? Oh, no. Because, you know, she handed you the bag. I could have handed you the bag, but she happened to pick it up at the restaurant, even though... Even though what? That's nah, just... You thanked her, even though... What? What are you trying to say, well, George? It's just that I was the one that actually paid for the big salad. She just happened to hand it to you, but it, it's no big deal. You want the money for the big salad? <laughs> then what is your problem? There is no problem. Just a small miscommunication whereby you thanked her instead of the person actually responsible for purchasing of the big salad. <laughs> Play with dolls if there were dolls in the house. That seems like fun to me. It doesn't seem like a gender thing. I think I would like to play with dolls. What's the dog? So, George, I was talking to Elaine before. Uh, 
We're just friends. <laughs> yes, well, anyway, she said something that was kind of intriguing. Hmm. Sure. Well, when I came over to the table, she mentioned something about how she'd better hurry up and leave, or you'd make her buy lunch to make up for the one that you bought yesterday. <laughs> I'm not following that. Well, my question is, how could Elaine be under the impression that you bought the big salad when I was the one that handed it to her? Well, she probably just assumed. Mm. Did she? <laughs> wait, wait a second. Are you suggesting that I went out of my way to tell Elaine that even though you handed her the big salad, that it came from me? That's what I'm suggesting. Well, it was a big salad. <laughs> and what I would like to know is how does a person who has virtually nothing to do with a big salad claim responsibility for that salad and accept a thank you under false pretenses? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. George, all I did was hand someone a bag. <laughs> Well, well, well. I'm not treating you to lunch anymore. You had to tell Julie that I made a special point of telling you that I bought you the big salad, didn't you? Uh, uh, uh. You know, if it was a regular salad, I wouldn't have said anything. But you had to have that big Okay, so this video, although a bit exaggerated, illustrates Mead's eye versus me. George's response to the salad fiasco starts out as what one might consider socially acceptable. He's a gentleman in offering to pay for Julie's lunch, and despite his obvious annoyance when he discovers Elaine's salad was thrown on the tab, and worse, that when Julie hands Elaine the salad, appears to take credit for the purchase, he initially keeps his cool, mostly. But as the story builds, we see the I part of the self come out in George as he acts on impulse, desperate to be recognized for his heroic purchase of Elaine's big salad. So Herbert Bloomer mentioned earlier a student of Mead's who further developed symbolic interactionism came up with the following three premises of the theory. The first is human, human beings act toward the things on the basis of the meanings that the things have for them. So referring back to the Seinfeld clip, George clearly has placed a high value on this big salad, or rather what the big salad symbolizes to him, a kind act disregarded. The second is the meaning of things is derived from or arises out of the social interaction that one has with others. So had Julie simply given credit to George for the purchase of Elaine's big salad when she handed it to her, the value of the salad would not have held much, if any, significance to George. But given George's observation of the interaction between Julie and Elaine, he allowed himself to feel slighted. And finally, meanings are handled in and modified through an interpretive process used by a person in dealing with the things they encounter. So again, when the big salad symbolized what the big salad symbolized to George when it was initially purchased was modified or changed only once he discovered that neither Julie nor Elaine placed the same value that he did on the big salad or his thoughtfulness in paying the tab. This theory has been around for decades and built upon by several researchers, but with undeniable value and application also comes a few critiques, such as the key concepts are confusing because they are difficult to define and test with research. The ideas and concepts of scholars in this field have not been combined into one central theory, so some say it's more of a framework than an actual theory. It does not give enough attention to the importance of emotions or the role of the unconscious, and it places too much emphasis on the ability of individuals to create their own realities as we live in a world that we do not create for, by ourselves. And finally, it lacks attention to the role of biology. With the vastness of contributors and length of time this theory has been studied and implemented, it's impossible to cover all aspects of it. But we hope you enjoyed these highlights of symbolic interactionism theory.